So we want to give a shout out to Junk Squad RVA out of Richmond, Virginia, because he got his Hustler Grinder Go-Getter hoodie and he's hauling and balling. What's going on with all my hustlers and grinders out there in the junk world? It's your favorite hauler and baller. And today I'm working so low bolo if you can see. So stay tuned for the video. I'm going to break it down how to work solo by yourself doing junk removal. But remember, don't burn yourself out because in this business you can. So I'm going to give you some tips and tricks how not to do that. So enjoy the video. Hit that like and subscribe button and let's get this money. Now I'm pulling up to the first job of the day and the first thing you want to do when you're doing this business by yourself when you get that phone call from that customer you want to find out what they have and is it upstairs or downstairs obviously if they have a piano or a sectional couch and stuff upstairs that's not a job you want to tackle by yourself you want to find someone you can use for the day because all it takes is one bad review to stick on your Google my business or your Yelp page and it doesn't look good. So always find out what the customer has and you'll be good. So on this job, there's some tree branches, some stuff in the backyard, and it's something I could tackle. So here's the job right here. Check it out, you guys can see. So here's the job. It's this pile right here. And we got this pile of wood right here. And there's some other stuff in the backyard. So we got a full load for the first job of the day. So let's get this money. And I'm not gonna lie, I hate green waste. I'd rather pick up dog shit all day. Oh yeah. Now the brush pile's all done. I squished it all down. Now we're gonna tackle the stuff in the backyard and get a full load. So it's all this stuff over here along the fence and then we also have some more stuff behind the barn way over here let me show you guys all this stuff right here needs to go and plus all this trash right here that's a whole lot of soda right there damn to do junk removal huh check this out Voila. and then there's some more trash over here that needs to go this fencing right here and that fencing right there now job is complete about 35 minutes later that was some easy money. Now we're heading to the next one. It's a hoarder house bid, so stay tuned for that. Now, some you definitely wanna do if you're working this business and you're working by yourself all the time, and maybe you're three months in or six months into the business, keep about five to 10 guys on speed dial that you can call whenever jobs come in that are too big for one guy to handle. It might be a family member, a friend, a neighbor, a youngster. Just keep them on speed dial so when them jobs come in, you can't tackle by yourself. You're good. So here's the hoarder house. Leave a comment down below what you guys would bid this job. They already cracked the safe. There ain't no money in there. But look at this house. It is filthy, dirty, but it's not that bad for a hoarder house. So there's trash everywhere. It's a two bedroom and one bath. And there is some stuff in the garage. And check out this bathroom. It's disgusting. Look at this. And there's a whole bunch of flies and gnats in here. Leave a comment down below what you guys would charge. Now I just put my bid in on that job and the realtor was like, oh my gosh, this is horrible. I've seen 10 times worse than that. And that's some easy ass money. I can actually pull up to the front door and load my dump truck up super fast. So fingers crossed that we get it. And she also has a Buick over there a car that she has a pink slip for, and she says I can have it if I want it, so we'll see what happens. Fingers crossed, we're heading to the dumps right now, and my prediction of the dump fee is gonna be $63. Let's see what happens. Now, 
look at that it was 980 pounds i was off by a dollar 50 it was 64 dollars and 50 cents and i predicted 63 dollars now let's talk about some tools you need if you're just starting out the basic tools for starting a business and doing junk removal solo is get a regular dolly a four-wheel dolly a sledgehammer a pry bar a sawzall in a tarp and you'll be golden you'll be good so you might show up to a job for a realtor and maybe there's some stuff upstairs maybe a big old bookshelf or a dresser and you're by yourself just break that bad boy down with a sledgehammer i use a sledgehammer so much when i'm working by myself so what you want to do is lay a tarp down lay that cabinet on side break it into pieces and bring it piece by piece downstairs so you don't hit the walls or damage the property so make sure you guys have a sledgehammer a dolly a four-wheel dolly a pry bar a sawzall and every other tool you'll find on jobs so we have the next one and it's a whole lot bigger than i thought it's a homeless encampment area there's trash everywhere I seen about 15 tires already and look at this shit. There's tires in here. I seen about four shopping carts, a bunch of metal. And it's on the side of a restaurant. And they just took over over here. Let me flip this camera around real quick for you. There's just trash all over this place. If you can see, they was tweaking back here. All this needs to be cleaned up. I don't know how in the hell they got all this shit back here, but they did. It's even stuff in here. All the way back over there. Holy shit more tires over here there's just trash everywhere over here so i just talked to the owner and we're gonna do one load right now and we're gonna make some good money off that one load baby oh yeah let's do this now here's the tip of the day it'll save you a headache do not bring these to the recycle place or to the dumps because they don't take them. So what we do is I'll pull the shopping carts out and either put them on the sidewalk or away from the building or bring them back to where they belong. So don't bring those to the dumps or the recycle place thinking it's all good. It ain't all good. So we're getting to it. Look at all this shit. Look at all that. What the hell are they doing with all these tires? Crazy, huh? Now, some you definitely want to do if you're working solo bolo and you're at a spot like this always watch your surroundings because you never know this might look like trash to you but to these people that are back here living back here this is all they got so always watch your surroundings i had a guy flex on me one time wanting to fight over some damn trash so always watch your back when you're working solo bolo at a place like this just like that about 45 minutes later job is complete i took five tires a refrigerator and i got a full load and my prediction of the dump fee is going to be i'm gonna say 223 so let's see what happens and oh yeah i almost forgot i'm gonna come back later on this week and finish that job up so it's a good paying job a bunch of people keep bringing trash over there and you know what that means i'm gonna keep getting paid so that's another reason why I love the junk removal business right there. Now I'm done for the day. And the best part about working by yourself is you ain't got to pay no one that's sitting next to you. So I worked six hours, made $1,400 and some change. And the dump fee was $64.50 for one dump fee. And the other one was $176, I do believe. So you guys do the math. I consider that hauling and balling, baby. So remember one thing, you can do junk removal by yourself, but take care of your back and 
and don't burn yourself out. And check the merch down below. And if you guys like this video, hit that like and subscribe button and I'll catch you on the next one.